Hello and welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Today we will look at a CLI which is really powerful to process text called Oak. But first of all, I would like to recommend two things, as always. Uh, you can download the file in the description of the video and fire up your uh, terminal and try along with me all the commands I will uh, run. And second, uh, I will, uh, from time to time, give you some little exercise and you can pause the video at that point and try to solve them. Of course, it's as you want, like you can just watch the video if you want as well. I let you the choice. So, uh, Oak is a CLI, as I was saying, but it's as well a programming language and a Turing complete programming language on top which means that you can do every computation with Oak. You could do with JavaScript or C++ or C or Rust. That said, it doesn't mean that you should do that uh, because the Oak programming language is uh, designed for uh, processing text and uh, more specifically to process text which takes the shape of columns. So it's good for reports, for example, or for going into a CSV or databases. Um, how does it work? So there, there are two words uh, which is useful to know, especially when you go on the manual page of Oak. Uh, I definitely encourage you to do that because there are a lot of there is a lot of information in there and uh, you will uh, if you really want to dig deep in oak it's a cool resource and uh, in there it, it will speak about records and fields so a record by default is just a line of your input because as many uh, program as many cli you can give an input to oak and it will transform it so a record is a line from your input by default, but you can change uh, this, uh, uh, this semantics. And a field is by default, every um, string in your record separated by what space characters. So for example, uh, space or um, end of line. So the, the general pattern of Oak is like that. You have a pattern and an action. You can as well have only a pattern and no action or only an action and no pattern, as we'll see uh, very soon. And finally, what I want to precise is that Oak, the programming language, has only two types, which uh, is string uh, between double quotes and numbers. All right, so here I have a file which is called lsblk, which is basically the output of uh, the command lsblk, a bit uh, transformed for the purpose of this video. And um, if I want to use org to just display the file, I can do that as well. And I need the action print for that. So basically here, I will ask Oak to print every record of my input. So every line of my input. And it does exactly that. Now, if I want to display the first field of every record of my input, I can do this. Oh. Difficulties to type today. And you see, because I, uh, I uh, give the argument to print uh, $1, it will only take the first field of every record, so the first string separated with a white space character of every line and display it. So I have my first column, basically. Now, if I do two, I have my second column. Very nice. Now, you might have noticed that it doesn't begin by zero, like, for example, a zero indexed array. Because zero means 
the entire record. So if I do print zero, it will print as well each record uh, as it is. So it will uh, display uh, the whole, uh, the whole uh, input at the end. You can as well uh, print more than one field. And if you want to do that with print, you need to separate your uh, different field with, um, with a comma, like that. And you can, if you want, even introduce a string in there. And here you will have the first, col the first column, so uh, the first field of every record, the second field of every record, and the new uh, field, which is called hello, for every record. For now, we only saw the action part of org, but now we will see a bit what we can do with uh, the pattern. And with org, like any programming language, you can give some expression um, in the pattern or in the action itself. So for example, for having a regular expression, you can do that. So here, basically I ask Oak to only display the record which has the regular expression SDA. So every line which contain the pattern SDA will be print. And then I ask Oak with the action to only print the first field of every record, so the first column. You notice that uh, if you want to use a regular expression in your, uh, in your pattern, you need to um, surround it with two slash. You can use a regular expression, but not only. You can use as well many other expressions. So for example, you can do something like that. So what does it mean? It means that org will only print when um, the first field of the record will be equal to SDA and only SDA. Before I had a regular expression, so SDA means SDA and anything which could be after that, so SDA, SDA1, SDA2, and, and so on and so forth. But here I want the first uh, field of each record to be um, strictly equal to SDA, which means that because of this filter, uh, Oak will only uh, display the first record and then I ask it to print the first field of the record, the second field and the uh, fifth one. And here's the result. I mean, you can do even uh, arithmetic if you want. So here I say to Oak, hey, I want the uh, second field, which is equal to, I want, sorry, I want every record where the second field is equal to four plus four, so eight, um, prefixed, and then the, the suffix of my string I want uh, to be equal to is uh, uh, colon zero, and then I have my result. So don't forget that you can read and get rid of the action as well. As I was saying, um, the action is mandatory if there is no pattern. The pattern is mandatory if there is no action, or you can use both. But for example, if I want only to use the pattern, in that case, I will only filter the records, and then I will have the entire record instead of chunk of it.
So here's an, ex an exercise for you. You can pause the video and try to solve it. Can you only print the force field of the file lsblk? So here's the answer. I want to print the force field, so I can do print $4. And here we go. Another exercise for you. Can you only print the column name and size in the file lsblk when the size is in gigabyte? So if you look at lsblk, you have the name, which is the first uh, column, and the size, which is the fourth column. So here's the answer. First, we need a pattern because we only need um, the gigabyte size. So we only search for uh, uppercase G and it will be enough in our, uh, for our uh, use case. And here we go, we have the column name and the column size um, and only the uh, records which has the size in gigabyte. Last exercise. Can you print the first column and the double of the value of the fourth column? So here's the answer. You can do oak. This time we only need the action. And as I was saying before, you can use expressions in the pattern, but as well in the action. So you can just do that. So here it works, but as you can see, you don't really have the force colon, which is the size colon, because you miss the G at the end. But I mean, um, it's better than nothing. You could add the G. Like that. But in that case, you need to filter for G as well. Otherwise, you will have um, the megabytes, uh, which, are, uh, which are mutating to gigabyte, which is not necessarily good because it's um, wrong information. All right. Next, we will see variables. And you can use multiple variables in Oak. For, for example, you have the variable NF, which means number of fields. So you can do that, for example. And here, you will see that um, you will see that the uh, third column in our output uh, when we run oak is 76777. Why? Because when you look at the file itself, the first uh, record has, has uh, seven fields and the second one has only six. And then all the subsequent one have uh, seven fields. You can as well um, I mean sorry before it's I can show you um, why it is useful for example you can only display uh, the records with those uh, with a precise number of fields so for example I can do that um, let's say And here it will only display the records with um, with uh, when the number of field is uh, greater than six. You have another uh, variable which can be useful, which is n or for number of records. So as you might guess it. Uh, it works the same. 
So for example, if I want So here I say basically I want every record except the fourth one and you can see that it displays them afterwards by putting the record uh, as a as first field of every record and then I have uh, basically the line numbers except the fourth one because I excluded it using the pattern. You can do even more fancy thing for example here you can see that we display the name and size, so the name of the columns themselves, but you, we can uh, just exclude them by doing that. And then we can have a fancy print. And now we have a wonderful output. My disk SDA is uh, 465.8 gigabytes and stuff like that. You can see that each time you give a, a new field to print, it will, um, it will automatically add a space between, between them. So now uh, some exercises and I will just delete that otherwise it's a bit too easy. Can you print all the record except the first one from the file lsblk of course. So we uh, saw that already so you want everything except the first record and then you want to print let's say the entire record and here we go you have everything except the name of the columns themselves another exercise can you print my disk field one is field four so we just saw that already here's the solution Print my disk first field is fourth field SBLK. And here we go. But I mean, it's super weird with this, uh, with this uh, first line, first record. So let's do that. It's even better. All right, it's uh, enough, I think, for a very brief introduction to Oak. Um, I think with only with that, actually, you can do quite a lot of stuff. Thank you for watching. Um, and don't forget to like and to subscribe. And I'm saying that for YouTube to uh, just, you know, propose the video I'm making to other YouTubers like that. It could help even more people. I would be super glad about that. So don't forget to like, to subscribe to my channel, uh, to share with the world uh, all the videos, to download them and watch them every day if you want before going to bed. It's perfect. You will sink in oak uh, in your dreams. I hope you'll have a great rest of your day.